Hello friends, this video on transport in plants and animals part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will specifically focus on the human excretory system. So we will see how exactly the waste products are thrown out of the human body. Now when we talk about excretion in human beings, let me ask you one thing. What do you do with the wastes in your house? In fact, what do we all do with the wastes in our house? We throw them out of the house. Correct? So we throw them out of the house not to create uh, uh, it dirty outside but in the dustbin. What I meant to say was we throw all our wastes in the dustbin and then we keep we throw the dustbin outside our house into a community dustbin which is then again disposed of by the municipality. So we get rid of the waste materials from our house. Similarly the waste materials are also thrown out of our body by the process of excretion. The word excrete Excrete means to expel out. So excrete, this word means to expel out, to throw out. So what are the things do you think are expelled out of your body? So what are the things that we release out of our body? So one such thing is feces, correct? So feces is one such thing which is released out of our body. The other thing which is released out of our body is urine. So these are two common things which are released out of our body. Now feces, what are feces? Feces is nothing but the undigested food. All that food which do not get digested by our body, it releases out in the form of feces. So basically this, these are not waste products. This is just the undigested part of the food. But what about the waste products? Like as I was telling, urea could be a waste product inside our body. So how will that urea uh, get eliminated from our body? Yes, in the form of urine. So urine is the result of the process of excretion. So urine contains the waste products of our body. So a, when we talk about the human excretory system, we will look at the process of formation of urine and how urine, from where is urine secreted out. So that, that's how we are going to talk about the excretion in human beings. So before we go ahead, it is important to know the various parts which together form the human excretory system. So here the excretory system has been highlighted in yellow colors. So let us look at the different parts. So excretory system consists of a pair of kidneys. So two kidneys on either side, left and right kidney. A pair of ureters. So from kidney you see a tube like structures which are connecting the kidney to the urinary bladder. So these tube like structures are called ureters and there is one ureter arising from each kidney. Then you have one single urinary bladder. So this is like a big sac like structure which is used for storage of urine. So urine is stored here. So this urinary bladder, the both the ureters connect to this urinary bladder. And finally, there is an opening called urethra. So here you can see this is urethra which opens to the outside. So urine is excreted out through this opening urethra. So these are the four important parts of the human excretory system. So let us start with the kidneys. So a pair of kidneys which are located in the back of the abdomen. So you see the location is almost in the abdominal cavity but it is on the back side. So kidneys are not present on the front side. Front side what do you have? So let us start with the kidneys. So where are they located? These kidneys are located in the back side of the abdomen. So you see this part is the abdominal cavity just below the thoracic cavity. So till here was the thoracic cavity. From here starts the abdominal cavity. So in this abdominal cavity they are located but please note that the kidneys are located towards the back side. So if you cannot, I mean if you touch your tummy from the front side, it is not where the kidneys are located. In fact they are located a little backward. Not exactly at the back but at least behind the abdomen you can say. So there are two kidneys present, one on either side of the backbone. So the backbone is almost at the center. So left and right kidneys are present. Shape of the kidney is like a bean. So if you would have seen the beans which we, which we often eat, the rajma beans and all. So the shape of the kidney is exactly like that. 
there is a notch on the inner concave side and this notch is called hilum. So if you look at it, this is the bean shape of the kidney and towards the inner side there is a notch and this notch, this part is known as hilum. So hilum is that part from where the ureters are like connected to the kidneys. So that's about the structure of the kidney. The next part is the ureters. So these ureters are tube set slender tubes arising from hilum of kidney. So these are the two kidneys. This is hilum. This is hilum of this kidney. So from the hilum you see there are two tube like structures which are running down the down, running down till the urinary bladder. So these tubes are called ureters. So they open into urinary bladder. So basically urine formation takes place in the kidneys and once the urine is formed here, the urine passes through the ureters and then they reach the urinary bladder. So what is urinary bladder? It is a pear shaped big sac like structure which is used for storing urine. So it is the reservoir of urine and it is muscular in nature. That is very important to note. Now any part of our body which is muscular in nature, do you know what is the advantage of that? Anything which is muscular will have the flexibility to contract and expand because muscles can expand and contract. So and the same is true for urinary bladder as well. Now since it is made up of muscles, so those muscles can contract and relax and that's how your urinary bladder can change its size. It can sometimes expand and uh, accommodate more amount of urine and when that urine is actually uh, urinated, so after you have urinated, maybe your urinary bladder will, become, will get contracted because of the contraction of the muscles. So that's very important about urinary bladder that it can accommodate its space depending upon the requirement. So and finally this urinary bladder opens into urethra. So you see here this opens into this opening. So urethra what is it? It finally opens to the external world. So it opens to outside through urethral aperture. So this aperture is called the urethral aperture. So this is the uh, opening through which uh, a person excretes the urine. So that's how urine goes out of the human body. So these were the important part of the human excretory system. Now generally it has been observed that the size of the urethra is longer in males when compared to females. So this urethra is quite longer in males. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.